Okay, hello, welcome back to Death Must Die. You know the drill, in the last one, we finished off playing as Nixie. We got the final tree, we just need to complete her achievements now. Well, I'm only gonna do one run today, and then maybe... Because I don't know how I want to format this still. But I, I just kind of want to showcase a run every now and then. So I might complete some of these off camera sometimes, but for now... We need to win with the Mind Reaper talent, which is what we got in the last video. As you can see here, your poison stacks are increased and it lasts infinitely. So poison should be valid. I obviously didn't max it as much as I'd want to, but because she attacks fast anyway, I feel like... Uh, keeping it like this is fine. So there we go. Uh, f in terms of our gear, I feel like I, w I don't want to change anything. Uh, unless, unless something pops up now. That's gonna absolutely change our life here. Let's see. Evasion, a crap ton of evasion, 131. So that is actually better at evasion than what we've got right now. But I don't know if I want that much evasion. Let's see what else is there. What else is there? Before we head on into the pit of death. Cast projectiles count. Cast is like the ray lights and stuff. Uh, we kind of want to focus on power. So here we go. Power damage. But then we sacrifice that for evasion. And I don't really want to do that. So you know what? Let's just go. Let's go, I don't want to waste any more time. Head right into the run. Oops! Well, wrong map. We need to change the map. I'm not doing that map in this video. I plan on doing the Act 2 stage for this one. And again, in the Star Crux, I'm just keeping what we had from the, again, the last video. Alright, we're loading in. Let's go, baby. Let's see if we can get another God Run for the channel. It'd be pretty cool if we did. Just okay, leveled up already. Do I want to go justice? We can try justice. Um, kind of want to do cast for maybe get the raise. Yeah, this reroll. Uh, this is poop. This is also poop. I'm gonna banish Retribution. I'm gonna reroll. Wow, okay, so I'm not gonna do Lady Justice. I feel like split second attack could be good. I wanna try something else. Here we go, so I wanna try Chain Lightning. Let's see how good Chain Lightning can be. The problem with this is that our build isn't really focused on luck. So the it. chain lightning won't really hit too much. Oh, okay. Uh, I feel like the meteors one is good. Let's go for meteors. So now that's our second goal. Because you can see my luck is only at 20. Okay, here we go. So we could go more again. She's kind of broken. Like, actually, she's kind of busted in this game. When I f was first playing the game, I didn't really think that, though. So right now we have the God of Lightning and Fire. Okay, we're getting terrible rolls. If we get one more bad roll, I'm going to have to alter it. Uh, Black Serpents are actually pretty good as well. But here we go, Execution again. I kind of want time though. Yeah. I think we go for time. I wasted a bunch of rerolls to do that. Here we go. Yeah, I want Force again. Just again, playing to the strength of her being able to pull in shards from anywhere. While focusing at kind of doing damage from further away as well. 
Uh, so I'm gonna get warped attack as well, of course. I really wanna crank the leveling as much as possible. It'll be another lightning build, but this time we also have the poison. Stacks applying. And, I, and this time I'm gonna focus on Meteor, I think. If we get fire more often than not, I'll focus on Meteor. There we go. I'm shocked. Okay, lightning. So we go chain lightning here for sure. Or we go... Yeah, because we only have one more cast slot. We went with time. So the time cast is um is that time slowdown thing. I might actually go lightning orbs here. I want to see what they can do. Because I've seen them do pretty well in the past. I don't know if it's lame to go for like a similar build to the last time. But every time we switch character, I'll probably be thinking in different ways to... to pump out damage. We're also going in this direction, kind of, again, because of just, again, the way our build works, right? What I kind of want to try for the next one... Ooh, duration of the cast lasts longer, so... Absolutely. Absolutely, we go for this. Yeah, what I, what I want to try for the next one is a luck-based build. So what we do is we crank out a bunch of luck. And then we go for a bunch of strikes. Oh, yes. Meteor shower. Level that up as much as possible. Maybe we can get a legendary roll. You know, that would also be nice in this run. You never, you never know. Okay, I need to run around now. And look for those orbs. Or interactables. Yeah, a lug build would be cool. I haven't really tried that yet. I've only really ran, like, evasion and extra dash and stuff like that. But I haven't really ran luck and only luck. So if you go cast last longer. If we make them last long enough, the meteors might actually stay on the ground. While there's, they're just stacking up on the, the entire floor. So that would be good. Let's get force again. I cannot emphasize how much, how good our build was in the last video though. That's why it kind of makes me want to use it again because it's just so good. And it would just blast through the game a bit quicker. So in terms of our cast, right now we have the Meteor again. And we also have the lightning orbs shooting out. So we want to focus on casts this run. Instead of chain lightning. So I shouldn't have really picked chain lightning. But I feel like chain lightning is one of the better strike abilities. Anyway, so. Gain life, armor, attack area. Or gain a level. Let's just get a level. Yes. I don't like losing stuff. Uh, shard pool area again. There was also a build I made on Lorien, where the main focus was to upgrade all your blessings to master, because there's a unique trait on a relic that I believe it only spawns on a relic that lets you upgrade. Your stuff to master instead of expert, and that was really broken. I love your persist. Because masters are just so that much stronger than experts. It's insane. As you can see, the meteors are actually crapping on everything. I wish we had cast area as well, though, so that these little holes are bigger. So yeah, I'd love to have that relic on this character as well, so that hopefully we can get master upgrades, but... But 
we're obviously using that for evasion right now. Yeah, we're actually doing pretty good damage. It provided the meteors land in the right place. The poison stacks are also doing bits. Which is great. And it's good that they last infinitely. That means what you can do... Oh my god, they last longer. Even longer. Fair enough. We're gonna go for that. Because it lasts infinitely, you can technically get all of your stacks and just run away. Which is really good. See, like, I can just focus on more and dodging. It's gonna be useful for the final boss because we, we just apply all of our stacks and we can just focus on dodging again. And then, with her, I also want to make... At some point, a crit build. A crit build would be fun. Because she also has a path in the tree where you can really focus on crits to insta kill enemies. So, as you can see, the poison is going crazy. Combined with the fire, it's pretty good. A lot of status damage is happening there. Uh, so, we can go. As much as I want to go Chain Lightning, I think I'm... Hmm. I really want Upgrade Orbs. Because we, we are focusing on our cast abilities here. As much as it pains me to, to not upgrade the Expert, I can only hope that the Rarity will upgrade. Yeah, cast, deal more damage. I think I just go for this. Honestly, it's, it, it kept coming up, but I just kept ignoring it. Because if we level that up, our meteors will completely smoke everything. I feel like the next character after Nixie that I want to do is also the chick that shoots the spells everywhere. I forgot what her name is, and I keep forgetting everyone's names. Is it Mont or something like that? Or Merry, Merry. Uh, here we go. Lightning orbs. There we go. We upgraded it to a debt. So now our lightning orbs should be pretty insane too. I'm not even dashing around. I'm just <laughs> not still avoiding attacks. It's so cheesy. I wonder if you could get max evasion like a hundred percent or like somewhere close like 90 because then technically you won't take damage and then that achievement will become like doable if you have max evasion Because the run where you don't take damage is kind of insane to do. Yeah, so if I run away from this cursed guy, look at that. The, the poison stacks are still draining his ass. So that's really nice, actually. And they do good damage. Run away! Run away! I won't. Well, actually, yeah, I will. This is probably the most terrifying boss in this damn game. The sound is really good. That, that they've done. Playing with fire, huh? Yeah, let's play with fire. Okay, here we go. Cast deal more damage expert. Yes, please. We would... I also want status damage, but I don't know... Who has that? Because we need someone that does status damage. That would be pretty huge. And I've seen that Mary, um, going back to Mary. I think that's her name. Don't, don't shout at me in the comments. But she has a tree for summon, so I want to mess around with that as well. 
because I'm curious to see if Summers is actually viable on this map. If because if they move quick enough, then yeah, absolutely it is. But if they don't, then I don't know. I know how I feel about that. Because that's going to be really tough to get right. You need a bunch of movement speed on the summon. Okay, what, what does this guy go for me? More evasion. Screw it, let's just try to get more evasion. On those. I usually get movement speed because I love moving fast in this game. But since we have an evasion build, maybe that's more worthwhile. Uh, movement speed and experience per second. Gimme. So the lightning orbs are doing okay damage. It's not a lot of damage. There you go, she's poisoned to the max. And then she's poisoned to the max. And then dead. There we go, orbs. Okay, the orbs are starting to do crazy damage now. They're really good at crowd control, from what I see. They're really good at clearing the crowd that's around me. There we go, heal up a little bit. And then the same thing, let's go. Find more stuff. More damage. Uh, lose area damage. Mm. I feel like we can afford to lose dash recharge. Because that's not really that significant of a change. Like 4%. You're not going to notice that. Maybe you might. I don't know. Okay, I feel like I should have upgraded the poison. Like, just everything poison. So I'm seeing that sometimes we're not getting those stacks. Powers. Well, sadly, this time around we only have one power. If that was status, I would have been happy to do that. Uh, let's go... Reroll. There we go, cast, deal more damage. Let's just go for that. Uh, or we go for Meteors again. Let's go for Meteors. Yep. I am so glad I went for Meteors. Wow. They're just raining from the sky. Whoa, this build is so broken. The poison stacks. <laughs> the poison stacks, dude. Uh, cooldown. Is there a cooldown on the Meteor? There is a cooldown. That's a problem, so let's go for cooldown reduction. And hopefully keep upgrading that till we can just keep spamming meteors at the sky. Because I forget casts have a cooldown. Every single cast has a cooldown. That we're gonna need to lower as much as possible. Uh, what does this guy give me? Max life? Screw it, I'll take it. Yeah, because look at the damage the Meteors are doing. It's actually doing great damage. It's just about... Oh, don't die. The fire is actually the same as our summon. Oh, I want all three of them. Okay, wait. Luck? Yep, we go for luck here. Absolutely. Forget what I said earlier, by the way. I didn't mean anything. Buy it. Just ignore what I said. And pretend that it was not heard. Okay, dead and level. I might... Oh! This combined with the cooldown reduction? Yeah. Plus the orbs will sit around for longer, like way longer. I forget that I leave a poison over behind. 
That will also help with the stacks. Uh, now I ought to rate. That's the right word. Cooldowns are reduced. Here we go. I need to level it though. I need to level it like crazy. I feel like that's the only thing I'm going to focus on now. Cast damage, let's go. We need more cast damage. Uh, summon damage. It's pretty useless. But yeah, right now we're pumping out great damage. I'm not really breaking a sweat. Too much right now. But that's also because the poison stacks last infinitely. So on top of everything that's happening, enemies are just guaranteed to die at any given moment. Your cast gain a 6% chance to apply burning. Your strikes gain a fritten We do burning. Absolutely we do burning. Because these, if these orbs go through enemies, they're gonna burn them. And that's a very high chance of happening for that many. I really want luck. Luck. Yeah, we don't have enough stuff. Let's go for luck. I could have picked the the one where you get more rerolls, but it's fine. Honestly, because even right now we're not really struggling too much. And from what I'm seeing, the meteors are somewhat constant now. So even if we lower the cooldown by a little bit, we'll be, we'll be good. We'll be good to go. The entire screen is covered by the orbs as well. Just follow your. Uh, here we go. That's duration. That's damage. Let's go for more meteors. You know. The more meteors we have, the less the cooldown will have to matter. Yeah, see, because it's just so much faster. There we go. Lightning orbs, no cooldown reduction. Absolutely cooldown reduction. Alright, he's gonna die. I'm just gonna leave him to be. He's just gonna die to my poison. <laughs> more movement speed. Oh, there we go. Now I can get more movement. I wonder if there's a weapon that can summon a meteor. Just like we have with the black lightning. But like a meteor version of it. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna put my poison on it already. Same with these guys, so you can die. She sounds so squeaky. <laughs> okay, there's a guy up there. I don't know how I'm gonna get him to come down here. I feel like the poison's just popping off though. Yeah, it is. It's going crazy, so I don't even need to focus on it right now. He's gonna die now, eventually. Uh, luckier. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for luck again. Yeah, poison goes crazy. Wow. And she is dead. Now, She's dead now. Okay. <laughs> Let's heal up a bit. Oh, status damage. Exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, so you know what? I might just keep running. I'm gonna keep running and looking for these. Power damage. Maybe that's a bad idea. I don't know. Uh, 
cast deal way, way, way more damage. Or we go for Meteor again. Which is just literally an extra 100% damage. We go for Meteor. It's gotta be raining uh, meatballs in the sky. Yep, let's get the magnet, so that I can just keep running. This guy's gonna die eventually anyway, apart from that one. There we go. Status damage. Okay, here we go. These guys kinda suck. So, one, ad one advice I heard against these guys is to keep going in circles or zigzag. To be honest with you, I'd rather just focus one at a time. There we go. They're kind of going through my fire anyway, just dying. Uh, let's alterate again. Meteor shower at level 7. Huge. Absolutely. Go for that. Okay, here we go. I put my poison on him. He should just be dying to that right now. I don't even know his gender. I just assume. We're definitely gonna need more damage than that though. It doesn't feel... Like I'm getting... Too good damage out right now. Let's go for alteration. Just in case we get time again. Yeah, because we have 14,000 per wary. I don't think we have to worry about that right now. Okay, so here we go. This is going to be tough. This is where the real test begins, because after this is the final boss. Okay, poison stacks are all given out. And I'm getting destroyed. Okay, but we did it. We get a level up. Ooh. What's the cooldowns of our meteor right now? Four seconds. This will take it down by another another good amount. Yeah, let's do it. So now it's at 3.8, yeah. So just under four seconds. I'm not feeling crazy strong, you know? But that's because I don't really know what to do with melee characters in this game. Like, in terms of builds. Because you want... A build... A broken build is a build that can kill... Pretty much anything on the entire screen, right? So that includes range. And melee characters don't really have that. It's kind of hard to trigger. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna alter it again, like I said, because I knew for a fact we were gonna get that asshole again. Um, yeah, okay, well, this is... This isn't good. Let's do Breath of Fire. Oh my goodness. Alright, these girls suck as well. And I don't mean that kind of suck. But like, they're all just kind of standing in my fire and dying, which is good. Let's be real. Uh, ooh. Strikes deal more damage. Chain lightning. Mm. Mm -mm. Go cooldowns. Go cooldowns again. And now it's at 3.5 seconds. It's raining meatballs. From out of the sky, meatballs, no need to ask why. Yeah, you're dead. I just leave you be. Yeah, these guys suck because they give you debuffs, so I really need to focus on them right now. Okay, there we go, he's gonna die. He loves running. Okay, this is, this is the hardest bit, right here. Because there's an elite version of that grenade-throwing bastard, and I hate them so much.
Let's go for attack. Stronger attacks. Because I feel like I might need it for this bit. I need any bit of damage. Yeah, see, so like, I build my poison stacks first. We need to kill this guy ASAP. Okay, poison stacks are going crazy. Oh my god, there's so much fire on the floor. Whoa. They're all kind of dying everywhere, but I cannot see what's going on on the screen. Luckier. Let's go for luck. Kind of like this. Bing bong. They're, they're gonna die off screen. Uh, we go for... I don't want to go missiles because that means I need to be close. I hate being up close with this character because you really just take too much damage. I want to stay at a distance with evasion. So that I can save as much life as I can. There we go. So there he is. Get the poison stacks on him. There we go. He's going to start beaming me down soon. Here we go. Try it. Try it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going down here. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> Is that him leaving the trail of fire or no? I don't know. He loves throwing those mines down. But the poison is doing work, as you can see, it's really biting at him. Eating away at his life. Ooh. Yep, that beam is the most scary thing about this. He's standing in my fire, so he's just getting destroyed right now. I'm so glad I went with Meteors here. Try it again. Try to beam again. You won't. Oh, you will now. Ow! Okay, you know what? YOLO! Oh my god, I was close. And he's dead. Okay, we need to drop stuff. What trash did I pick up? I feel like blues are just pointless to get. One, two, three. And then I can drop one more. I'll drop this. And that's a unique, so hold on a minute. What is that? More master offers. You deal and take more damage. That's gonna be really cool for like, uh, what's his name? Kront? The ogre guy? Like a glass, glass cannon build with him would be cool. Okay, so here we go. These are the stats. The orbs, as you can see, did 2 mil. So the orbs are insane. If you can level those up, the DPS is insane on them as well, 1.6k. The Meteor Shower is just behind it with 1.3 mil. We could have done a bit better with this and made it really rain. But obviously we were focusing on stuff like cooldown and, and all that. So that we could spam it a lot more frequently. But all in all, a good run. I think we got the achievement now. Yes, we did. Because I saw the steam pop up. So if we go here. There we go. As you can see, we got the... The Mindless Reaper achievement here. So the one that's left to do is... Gargoyles under 20 seconds. That's gonna be a challenge. Four dashes and... Endless Night. So what I'm gonna do... And then we'll, we'll do the Endless Night one tomorrow as well. So I'm going to reset the tree. And then we're going to go for this. Right here. So just focus. Attack damage. Uh, and we do critical. Chance. Infinite Rupture. Shadow Shift. Like this. Just max that out. 
And then what else? Attack speed. We go for more crit. Whenever you pick up gold, your chance to crit on your next attack is increased. Nah. You deal more damage to enemies that have a status applied to them. Nope. Let's just move faster. I do like movement. And then we get shard pool. We go dark alley here. Again, go for shard pool. More strike cast and power slots would be good. But let's go for this. While in shadow shift, your evasion and attack damage are increased. Of course, we go for this. And then we go for this. And then let's see what else do we have. Should we go for this? I don't know. Let's go for this. Maybe. The lethality thing. Attack critical hits have a chance to instantly kill. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And then we go for free. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Attack damage is increased for every empty strike slot. That would be good with this. That would be good with that. Mm, we only have two left, so we need to think about this. An additional attack would be insane. More damage to bosses would be good. Let's go for that. More damage to bosses than an Endless Knight. So this is what our build kind of looks like right now. So we get more crits. Oh! I could have used an extra point there, but that's fine. Uh, and we're out of alterations. I forgot this one gives you alterations. So in the next run, we're gonna have a crazy um, build. That will be Endless Night. So we're gonna keep entering the shadow phase and assassinating dudes back to back. Which just on paper sounds insane. Plus four summon count. A, da a dagger for summon, interesting. We could play with that. Yeah, you know what? I might play with that in the next one. I'll make a build for summon for Nixie in the next one. I'll try cook something up. Before I head off, let's see what they're selling. So they're selling a goblet of ignoring. Healing on attack kill. Attack projectiles pierce or bounce. That's only really good with ranged characters. And most of them are melee, so... It's not really good for this character. More luck. I think I will buy this though. Cause just because of that luck and alterations alone. Uh, attack kill. Well, that's a crazy high chance. Your attack kids have a chance to trigger fire trails. That's kind of insane. More damage to elites. These are all the same. That's insane. I've never had that. Dash damage. I've never really done a dash build either. That would be sick. Damage, life regen. Um. Meteor shower once you interact with location. But that means you have to keep running. You have to be like constantly running for the build to work. Okay. And I think that's it. Yeah, this is for like other characters. And they don't look too good, so... Wow, this one looks good. Movement speed, a bunch of life. Then this one, dash charges. I wish we had this on Nixie right now. Because I need to get another one of these for Nixie. So that we can get the other achievement. But yeah. As always, I'm going to sort this stuff out in the stash. But if you enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new. But apart from that, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and see you later.